What's up guys, Celestra here again bringing you another achievement guide, this time for A Little To The Left. It is a new Game Pass game and it's a puzzle game, so right up my street. I wouldn't recommend going for 100% for this game because it does have DLC that you need to buy. And the achievements that you need to get at the end are the most BS achievements I have seen in a while. So they're basically for doing a daily tidy, the thing you see on the menu here, every single day for basically about 120 days or something. You can actually trick this by changing the time on your PC. It can only be done on the PC version because it doesn't allow you to do it on the Xbox. But basically we'll get into the guide. The Most of the solutions on this video are just going to be stills. And if there's any complex ones that need a little bit more explanation, I'll jump in and explain it for you guys. It should only take a few hours to do the, the main campaign, like maybe about one or two hours. The miscellaneous achievements are pretty easy to do. But the DLC does take a while and also those stupid daily tidy things take forever. I actually almost went insane trying to do them. But I've got the full 1200 gamer score on this. So if you guys want to follow along, you can do it my way but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Just, just play the game and then leave it at that. Like don't go for the 100%. The only reason I do it is because I, I like 100% in games. But would never recommend this to 100%. Just play it and enjoy it. Right, let's get into the guide. One other thing I'll mention before starting the guide is make sure you don't use any hints or skips because otherwise you're going to have to play the entire game again to get the last few achievements. So make sure you do not skip. Right, so we start off getting into the, the main part of the game. I'm just going to explain how the game sort of works to begin with and then it's going to be stills from then on because a lot of the things just require you to look at a picture and you can solve it that way. This, you just turn it a little bit to the right and straighten it up and that's the first puzzle. Easy as that. They're not all this easy, by the way. The next puzzle should be to do with pencils, I believe? Or no, the cat basket. There is an achievement that you can get here as well with the, the bell. By shaking that little ball that has a green ball inside of it. You shake it for long enough and you'll get the achievement for basically shaking a ball inside of a ball. Right, and then once these are done, it's going to start being some stills. So we've got the pencil one. Just so you guys can see how I do it. So, solution. Solution one. Okay. Some of these have two solutions, but you'll you'll see if there's multiple screenshots. This is the solution for the next puzzle. This is the solution for this puzzle, which is literally just straighten the images up. Easy as that. This one I'll explain a little bit just because a picture looks a bit strange. That you just need to stack them all on top of each other. So just drag the, the biggest one to the middle and then just start dragging them all on top of each other. Even if you do this, like I'm doing here, the other ones will just appear on top. Just like that. Easy peasy. So a lot of these puzzles are fairly easy, but some can be quite difficult, which is why I'll explain some of them. This one right here is just from high to low. And this one here is thickness. So the thickness of the books. So there, there'll be a couple that actually have multiple solutions. Some of them actually have three or four solutions, but you'll see if you get only get one star and then it has like a, a star with a silhouette. And then all you do is hit the replay button and you can do it in the same level just like I did there. These ones are fairly easy, so there's just gonna be pictures for these ones. Just stack them like this. The next one is just putting stickers on it, well, stamps on envelopes, just like this. You can't see the one at the back, but it's pretty easy to determine the pattern. Same with this, just easy picture. So, like I said, a lot of them will just be pictures that you guys can just follow along and have a look at. Obviously, the music cuts out. I might just put a little bit of music in the background here so you might just not hear my voice or some random noise in the background. But yeah, a lot of them are just going to be pictures. Like I said, if there's any that are a little bit more complex, I will jump in and let you guys know.
So after you complete this one, you will actually get the triple threat achievement because this one has three solutions. The very first one that has three solutions. Like I said, you'll probably encounter a few that have multiple solutions like that. But as long as you're following this along and you just do exactly what it looks like on screen, you'll be totally fine. A lot of these are just literally just follow along, look at the picture, match the picture, and there you go. But like I said, just play the game, play for an hour or two and just get how many achievements it gives you. Do not go for the 100%, it is not worth it. Like, I spent the entire yesterday trying to get this game 100%ed, as well as the DLC. Not fun, in the slightest. But, this one requires a little bit more explanation, so you're going to turn the dials to make sure they're lit up, just like that. And then you're going to move the needle onto the second circle. Second outer circle, even. So the first one's too scratched up, so it has to be the second one, otherwise the, the sound doesn't play properly. Yep, so lift it up again, and then move it to the second one. Just like that, there you go. And that's the first chapter 100%ed. So they don't take very long when you're literally just looking at the solutions. But I will talk over this bit, because I basically will talk over the start of each chapter, just so you guys can have a little bit of introduction instead of just pictures all the way through. I know videos where it's like that is a little bit boring. So this one is just turn all of them so they have the tomatoes on the front. It can be a little bit finicky, because sometimes if it's not fully all the way around, or if there's too much grey, you won't kind of unlock the star. So those ones are done, just make sure the other one's fully round. There you go. As, so as soon as you hear the ding, that means that you've done it. So this one also has multiple solutions. So you just hit the retry button, and then what you're going to do for this one is have one fully tomatoes, and then the next one is going to be the label on the back. So just like this. Full label, just put it in the center. And then this one's going to be sort of partial. Both. There you go. Easy as that. As soon as you hear the ding, all done. And the next ones are going to be color gradient ones as well as size and also liquid. So just have a look at these and it'll be all good. So for this puzzle solution, just move the eggs exactly how I do here, because you only get a certain number of moves to do this properly. And achievement unlocked. Only reason I'm showing this one is because you have to move the crumbs off the screen before the puzzle can actually complete and the fact that this is a little bit janky getting it to start so you want to put the biggest piece in the middle and then kind of follow on from there and then you'll be able to connect all the other pieces because as you, you can see I'm moving them all around and nothing seems to be clicking as soon as you hear the, the like ding sound that means that you've placed it in the right place like that there you go and then just follow on and complete the puzzle For this one, what you want to do is remove all the stickers for the first star, and then the second star is going to be, you have to put the orange circular label on the orange, the pear-shaped green one on the pear, and the other one on the apple. Pretty easy, you'll see in the solution here, but you'll notice which one looks like an apple and a pear and an orange.
You can actually get two achievements here, but for some reason the other one didn't unlock for me. But basically you want to set the plate before the cat can actually do anything, and that will get you an achievement. You can also bat the cat's hand away, which will give you another achievement, but for some reason it didn't unlock for me here, so I had to go back and get it later. So this isn't a particularly hard puzzle, but I just left the solution in here because it can be a little bit tricky with putting the cans on top of each other to move them to the right colour. So just follow along and you'll get past this level. No achievement here, but just a simple-ish solution to get past the can level. For this puzzle you're just making sure all the water connects in the postcards and then for the next puzzle which is right here it can be a little bit finicky so you might need to jiggle them around a little bit to make sure that they're next to each other and then this part is just going to be telling a story with pictures of the cat and then once you've done this it's on to the next chapter. And this one doesn't really require much explanation either, it's literally just putting all the things in the box in the right order. But there is an achievement linked to the crayons here, so you need to make sure they're coloured in a specific order. And then once you've done that, the achievement will unlock. I think it's also related to the actual level being completed, because it didn't complete otherwise. Or it could have just been because my dice were out of order. But just make sure you do that before you finish off the actual stacking of the box. The next few are all kind of self-explanatory, just follow along the pictures and match it to what you have. A couple of solutions for this one with the triangle and the paint, and then basically every single one of these ones coming up all have different solutions. But just make sure you follow the pictures and you'll get all the stars. With this one remember to remove the lid from the jar so you can put the cotton buds in it, other than that just follow the picture and it'll look exactly the same. Same with this one, just make sure it looks exactly the same as the picture on screen. This one isn't too difficult either but I thought I'd leave the solution in just so you guys can see. So what you do is you clean off all the coins for the first star, and then the next couple stars you need to blacken all the coins by touching them, and then the last solution is to have them in a gradient from darkest to lightest. 
So as you can see, these ones are all black. The next ones will be the color gradients. So from darkest to lightest, and then that will be all the three stars for that level. Then this level has two stars, so you need to make sure it's color coordinated first. And then it is item oriented, so like gardening, shoes, sports, etc. These ones I just left in the solution because it took me a while to figure this out. Just move the boxes around until they look like this. And then this one is the way the tape looks on the boxes. Right, so once you get to the vase, you're going to clean it off and you're going to lift the flowers up. That's the end of chapter three. So we're almost there. Just a few more puzzles left to do. They start getting a little bit more complex, which you'll see me jump in a bit more just to explain. So cat breaks the vase and then the next step is repairing it. So the next part is kind of cleaning up after the cat in this section. So as long as you're following along and not skipping or anything like that, you will get the last achievements at the end. But we're making sure we 100% every level before we get to this point. So you'll get both chapter 3 and 100% chapter 3 at the same time. So this part is pretty easy, just put the bits into the vase. And then rotate it around to get to the other pieces. So you just grab it and rotate it, just like that. And then once we're done, we move on to the next part. So there is actually an achievement here for cleaning up the, the spilled tea or coffee or whatever it is, as well as the paw prints, but for some reason it didn't unlock for me, even though I did actually clean it up. But just make sure you clean up everything and you'll get the achievement as well. This part here, you're just cleaning up the paw prints and the cat grabs the cloth. You don't actually need to, you don't need to bother about it grabbing it, it'll just release it. It's not achievement attached to it or anything like that, you just make sure you just clean up after it. This is where we start getting into more kind of symmetrical puzzles, which can be quite annoying, especially when you're doing them with the daily tidies. So for that previous one, you're just making sure it looks symmetrical. This one, you're doing the color gradient. This one is going to be how many edges it has. And then this is just all the holes overlapping on the leaves. And then we're going to fit these together, which is the next puzzle. So these all just fit together like this. Like I said, just follow the pictures and you'll be fine. So as long as you're following along, you'll get all these pretty fast and then we can move on and get some other achievements, as well as the DLC if you guys have downloaded that. For these, you're just following along with the pictures that I've put here because it's pretty self-explanatory. Just look at the picture and place them the same way I have. This is a symmetrical one. You can place it in any way you want. This is just kind of the way I came up with. This is also a symmetrical one, so you need to remove leaves in order to get them to look the same. And this is just kind of the color gradients for the, the items. This is also another symmetrical one, so just make sure those are all the same. So only reason I left this one in as a little video is because when you move the rocks it moves the other ones around and the solution can get a little bit complex if you move them the wrong di directions. So just follow the way I'm doing it and you'll be able to get the colour gradient the way it is and then the next solution will also be here as well. This puzzle's a symmetrical one, so you need to make sure it looks exactly like this or something similar that looks symmetrical. This one I left in as a little voiceover just because this took me forever to actually figure out how it works. There's, you don't need to get the whole snowflake, you just need to get edges first. So when you find a certain bit that looks like part of the, the thing that you're moving around, you line it up and you place it on top of it. And then once a piece has been overlapped, it'll turn sort of grey-blue. Just like that and then you're finding the next piece so once you've done this three times with three different snowflakes you'll get to the next puzzle this is probably one of the most annoying puzzles so when i started getting this in the daily cleanup things i just skipped past them because they were a pain
And with the spider web one, once you've dragged the glowing one into the middle, that's this one done. And that is the end of this chapter. Chapter 4 complete. That was a pretty short chapter. The only long part of it was trying to get the symmetrical puzzles to fit. But once we're done with this, we start moving on to the final chapter. Which is a lot longer, because all the solutions are a little bit harder. So I left this one in as a video because this one can be quite complex. So what I did was I made sure that the very right picture held the donut. So the ball moves from a ball to a tire to a donut and then other things. So I made sure that the tire stayed here and then moved the other pictures in the direction that you would roll it down and then it just all goes in one. So as long as you keep the donut on the right hand picture, move these the way I moved them just now. And as soon as you roll it left, it'll roll to the right location. Right, and this next puzzle solution is pretty easy as well, but I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys how it works, because when you're doing the daily tidy, you'll do a few of these as well. So you make sure you line up the hands with the leaves. So as you see here, this one lines up with the grass and the leaf, and there you go. Easy. On this, you just need to make sure the shadows match the shapes and they're in the right size. I also left this one in just so you guys can see how it works. So what you do is you grab the stars that are a bit more bright than the other ones and you start pulling them in different directions until the lines become more solid. And once you've done that, there's three of these you have to do it with, three different pictures, and then you'll get to the next level. This one you just follow the picture and make it look exactly the same. And for this puzzle I left this in as a video because it's really hard to explain with just a picture. So you want to make sure you match exactly what I do with the matches. Put them in each box because each box will generate a different colour and put it into a different box. So as long as you follow along with this you'll get the right amount of matches. Once you've got the right colours you put them into the middle box you'll get a white match and then you grab it and that's the end of the level. These ones you need to change the height of the candles, the white match makes them grow and the black match makes them shrink, so just make them look like the pictures do. I also left this one in because this one drove me insane. This box here, I was trying to put this little skull inside of it for about 20 minutes, but you actually have to put the mirror in front of it because you can't see the latch. So you have to pull the mirror to the side so you can see the latch on the box, and then you tap it so it opens the box. That's how you finish the level. So you make sure it just looks exactly like it does in the video here, once I've moved everything back to where it was, and then that'll get you to the next level.
Okay, so for this puzzle, I left it in as a video instead of just a picture, just so you guys can actually see how it works. So you've got this spotlight here. It shows you the puzzle solution on it, essentially. So what you do is you grab the lantern and you position it to the left and you'll see a bunch of switches for you to press. You need to press them in this order so that they kind of line up in a heart shape. And then once you've done that, you position the light back onto the lamp and then that's the solution. And this is one of the miscellaneous achievements. It's also one of the levels, so you need to do this to complete the level, but you need to make sure you do the rhythm exactly on time. So every time that you see the ring touch the error ring, you make sure to pet the cat. And then once you've done that every single time correctly, you'll get the achievement.
Okay, and now we're on to the final part of the main game. So this is where you can get the last few achievements that are kind of missable. We'll go back and do the ones that I've missed out for you guys anyway. But in this part, you need to make sure you match the starting colors. So for me, it's gray, red, and yellow. So you have to go up and make sure the cat jumps on gray, red, yellow. And then gray, red, yellow. Until you get to the top. I believe the last one they jump on has to be the last color. Because I tried this twice and the only time it actually unlocked was when the last color was the last color in the sequence. So gray, red, yellow for me. It might be different for you. But you just line them up like this. Make sure you just follow along. So gray, red, yellow. Gray, red, yellow or whatever yours is. And then once you've done that the achievement will unlock for basically having that color sequence. You'll also get the achievement for making sure you have the entire tower full. I don't believe you can actually make the cat jump up without the tower being full, so I don't know why that is an achievement. But anyway, just follow along and you'll kind of see how it works.
And then once we're done with this and we get into the credits, you want to make sure that you're holding down, down A and you're going over all of the names because there's an achievement for knocking all the names during the credits as well. So once you've done it all, you'll get this achievement, Be the Chaos. And then we're going to unlock a huge amount of achievements for doing the full game, doing it without hints, doing it all in one go, all that sort of stuff. There you go, that was a lot of achievements. So that's basically all the ones for doing the main campaign. There's a couple more for just kind of miscellaneous ones from the the campaign that I missed out and didn't show you guys. So we're gonna go back and do those just now. So the very first one that I should have showed you guys was the second level. You need to grab this ball up here. I think I told you anyway, but this is just to show you the achievement actually unlocking it. It takes a while when you're shaking it. So you just make sure you're going like a circular motion so the ball's rolling around and then once You've done it for like 10 or 15 seconds, the achievement should unlock. And then here just showing you the achievement I missed out on when I was doing the main game. This is for cleaning up all the, the paw prints and the, the coffee stain or tea stain, whatever that is. But for some reason that didn't unlock when I did it the first time. I think it's probably because for some reason the tea or coffee didn't wipe up. But there you go, it unlocks for me now. And then the last few miscellaneous achievements, we're going to be using hints and we're going to also be using let it be, which is like skipping a level. So you can't actually just do the hints in the same level. You need to go through like 10 different levels to get the, the 10 hints. Because once you've re revealed a hint, it's revealed forever. And when you're just skipping the levels, you just let it be, skip to the next level, let it be. Do this 10 times and then you've got the other achievements. And then basically the last ones you have to get are the tidy ones for the main game, like the daily tidies. But like I said, do not bother doing that. This is the achievement for stopping the cat touching the, the plate and stuff. I don't know why I didn't unlock that when I first did it, but this is the DLC here. So if you guys want to download the DLC, um, I've got it all in this video for you guys to watch and kind of follow along with. They're a bit harder than the, the previous puzzles, but... As long as you're just kind of looking at what I've laid out here, you'll be able to unlock the achievements pretty easily. So for this one here, this is a miscellaneous achievement in the DLC. Just line up all the pens like this and then make sure you place the tops on the same order I do. Because there's one for basically swapping the tops between the pens. But you need to make sure you don't swap them over to the ones that are the right ones, if you know what I mean. So just follow along this little video part here and you'll see how to unlock this achievement. There's not many miscellaneous ones in the DLC, thankfully.
Right, this is another miscellaneous achievement from the DLC, so what you want to do is make sure they're all stacked up on top of each other on this level. So make sure all the plates are stacked up on top of each other, make sure all the food's on top, and make sure you can move it around like this. As soon as you can move it around like this, the achievement will unlock, because it's all stacked in the same place. Another miscellaneous achievement from the DLC is this area here. So once you've moved all the stuff out of the way so you can get access to all the cans, we're going to make sure we stack every single can on top of each other, or as many as we possibly can. So what happens is you move as many as you can onto one stack, and then you can lift that other stack on top of the stack next to it. They don't fall off, thankfully. So you just make sure you lift them up, place them on top, make a new stack, and then lift that stack on top of that stack until it's as high as it can possibly go. Once it is, you'll get the achievement. I didn't actually manage to complete the level once I'd done this. I'm not sure if that's like a glitch or something, because I placed everything in the right location once I'd done it, and it didn't unlock. But if so, just reset the level. It doesn't take long anyway. Then once we're done with that cupboard level, we're going to just sit and watch the cat for about 10 or 15 seconds. Because if you click on the cat, it basically takes you to the next level. But you just need to make sure you sit here until the achievement unlocks, and then that'll be that. Before we start tidying up this level, we want to make sure we turn on the Game Boy looking thing, which will give you another achievement once you move the ball into the right location. I don't think you actually need to move the ball, but it only seemed to work when you started moving it. But once you've done that, figure out the level, watch the picture, and then just get them sorted in the right location. I only left this one in here as a video just because it's a little bit awkward sometimes putting these swords in the box, 
but you can just do it by moving the, the box to the very far left or the very far right or up and down, just to make sure you've got enough space for the sword. Easy as that, just put them in the box. This level here is one of the last miscellaneous achievements in the DLC, so what you want to do is you need to make sure you pull out all the trophies and place them all on the floor. Once they're all on the floor, you'll unlock the achievement. And then you just follow the guide and you can see me putting them all in the right cabinets. This is the last little part of the game, I thought I'd leave it in as a video just because it's a lot easier just watching and kind of seeing how it works. Because they're not tricky puzzles these ones, you just need to make sure you move them so they look accurate. And then once they're all done, you'll unlock the achievements for the DLC.
Right, so with all those achievements done for the DLC in the main game, like I said, the only thing you really have left to do is the daily tidies. And you can't actually do these legit unless you wait basically like 120 days of real life. Because every, it's like a daily thing. So every day you get a new daily challenge that you have to do. And there is basically 100 plus of them. So in order to get all the badges like you see here, which 1% of people, 0.02% uh, of people have actually got, you need to do it in the way that I'm about to show you here. So it only works on the PC version because if you turn off your internet on your Xbox, it doesn't allow you to change it and go back onto the game. So Daily Tidy, you can see, isn't active. I've already done the star, so I can't do it again. And then what I do is I change the date on my PC to the next day, and there you go. The thing is, it does cause the game to crash if you do this. So it took me probably a couple hours to get this right to make sure I could actually get through them all but it's really the only way to do this if you want to 100% the game. But that's just a quick little trick in order to do it if you want. And if you want, you can do it the way I did it, where if you get a puzzle you don't actually really like, or they're very long-winded, like the ones where you need to do two stars. Like, for example, that clock one's very easy. So if you want to get that one, just skip to a different day. Every time you skip a day, it will give you a new daily challenge. But there is ones for doing... 15, 5, 15 and 30 consecutively I believe, but that's not actually too hard. If you just do one day after another, you'll be able to get it. But then, as you can see here, these are the last puzzles that I'm doing, and switching the days again, daily tidy, move on to the ones that you can actually enjoy and do, and then once you've done all these and you've got every single one of them out of the way, you'll get the 100 badge, and then that will be the last achievement, thank God. But like I said, I don't recommend 100% in this game. Just because of these last achievements, they take absolutely ages. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If it has helped you, leave a like, share the video. I will see you guys in the next achievement guide. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.